YouTube, what's going on guys? So good to be back here, man. I just, I've been busy. Clients been crazy, work's been busy, but it's good to be back. I'm only on here because of you guys. Look at this brand new car that I just got because of you guys. All the money from my clients and everything from social media is because of you guys. And man, life is just good right now. So let's get into this lift. It's gonna be really quick. I'm gonna get into this real quick. All right, so my home gym is literally, it's not garbage, but we can do enough here, get in a good lift, and we're gonna be perfectly fine. Um, so we're gonna hit some back and biceps, and let's get it. I can actually talk for once, so let's go. All right, so I'm getting into some close grip pull downs to start. Just gonna warm up a little bit. Got the straps. This machine like low-key feels better than the machines at the gym. I don't know what it is, but it feels fucking good. Oh. So when I'm using the straps, my forearms aren't giving out first, so I'm able to engage my lats, engage my back, and fail with my back, not my forearms. Get the extra couple reps in. Whew. I have no energy today. Fucking no energy today. It's so bad. Oh. Alright guys, so this is already the third set. Take off the cover in a second. My pump is definitely trash. Bruh. Hammer curls are like, they're just going to build width to your biceps, so don't just do regular curls. You got to do hammer curls if you want to add width to your biceps. I fucking hate these. These are not fun, and I just, uh, I'm just like not, not in the mood to lift today. I'm just, just tired feeling lazy and these are the days that really build you when you want to fucking just sit on the couch just fuck around eat Cheetos get high fuck that shit like the difference between you and the other person is on these days that you don't want to work because these days is when it's gonna put you ahead of them all right so I don't want to fucking do this I feel like shit but no one cares. That is crazy. I ah. All right, so let's give you guys a little pump check here. Man, I have no fucking energy today. I definitely look so small. Oh. Just hit back. So to check the back now.
just wrapped up the lift and it was a very subpar lift um, and I really just wanted to sit here and talk about something because I think this is important um, to talk about and you guys need to hear about this. So I've just really been battling a lot of anxiety my whole life. Um, definitely turned into depression at points. Um, I never let it really get to me. I don't believe in depression. Uh, you know, you have to turn to God if you want to be healed from all these things and Jesus is the only way you can feel better and you know not have anxieties, not have depressions, you know, not be worrying about things, you know, have a peaceful life, right? And I feel like I'm starting to turn away again and again and again because the world is so sinful and I just don't have people around me supporting me in the way that I feel like I want to, you know, follow God. And it's, you know, it's tricky, but you need to be a leader and just step up to what you feel is right and, you know, I think a big thing when we talk about happiness is just like following what other people do will never lead you to happiness you have to take your own path your own initiative and that's the only way that you can truly you know find fulfillment in what you do whether you have to you know cut off people in the way or you know be selfish you have to do whatever you need to do to you know put yourself first um and it's just a little selfish but at the end of the day you know nobody really cares about you that much it's only you really cares about yourself and I thought a lot of people cared about me and you know I really realized I only got a couple good people in my life so basically you know what I'm just saying is anxiety and depression can be cured you know you just need to find you know your higher power or whatever that might be to help you you know recover and feel better about it for me that's Jesus and I'm not gonna be pushing it on anybody I just advocate what I use to help myself and you know at the end of the day Jesus says it's your own free will so it's your choice to follow him or not but with that said I hate chocolate protein this shit sucks um like I said we're up to 200 pounds try to get some serious size on here and compete see how we look on stage and like we'll go for bodybuilding from there i mean i hate powerlifting like i'm not doing it ever again so we'll just see how bodybuilding goes and we'll just go from there guys remember jesus loves you jesus will always forgive you he wants you to repent you can sin as many times as you want but when you're ready to change he's there for you don't take this as i'm telling you to do it just do it if you choose to Jesus is merciful. Love you guys. You have a great weekend.